So, I was uh, walking through Abbots Langley the other day with my lady, and we um, we walked past a load of uh, cherry wood that had just been cut down, and um, I, I stopped and I stared, and I realised, oh gosh, like that, this, that's that's cherry wood, and cherry wood is really good for carving into axe handles. So what I've done is I took the wheelbarrow and I. Um, I went down the road, I took a saw with me, and I cut some of these bits of wood to a better length so as I could actually carry them away. And today I've just been splitting them up. And you can see this grain structure here is really straight. So then what I've been doing is I've been taking these and I've been uh, taking my one of my favorite axes and I'm cutting off the edges like this because it's still nice and green. And, uh, this means that I can carve the, the handles down to cut off these excess bits of material. Uh, this is another one here. It's got the same kind of straight grain running along here, but this would be for a smaller item. And then I've been um, turning them into these handles over here. So these are just roughed out at the moment. They're still green wood, but all of them have quite good grain structure and they've got this lovely three-tone thing so it's got dark and then um a, a white and then they've got a, a light what well, no light and then a white and then a pinkish kind of color and i'm really hoping to be able to keep all of those that in um so this is uh i've had pretty good success with um rough sword making uh project days as um experience days so I need to get some good handle material so as I can start practicing my um, my plan for doing axe forging days and um, hopefully this will help me refine that technique and get that up and ready.